Ah, started. Hi, everybody. Um, st day is still 2 12 17. Um, about three something in the afternoon. Getting ready to go to bed for work tonight. But I want to talk about another book that I read recently, and that was Gary Paulson's The River. Um, I know that's not like this groundbreaking book or anything like that. And as a matter of fact, I read the majority of the Hatchet series as a kid, but that was at that store restore the other day. And I was like, oh my God, there's that, there's the river. And I remember reading it was like, I really like this movie. Um, it's not crazy complex reading. It's not, you know, it's a short book. It's 100 and, 120 something pages. It's short. It's, it's a short movie. 125 pages plus the, the little bit at the end. So nothing crazy. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I really enjoy the series. I really have. I need to go back and read them all again. Because, I mean, I remember reading them in middle school to, to high school. And they're not difficult reading. They're really not. They're, you know, it's probably beneath what I should be reading. But they're just an interesting read. And I really like the story. I love the detail. Um, so, basically, it's the sequel to, it's one of the sequels, one of the many sequels to the original book, The Hatchet or Hatchet, or it's one of the two. I can't remember if there's a the before it. Um, so if you've read that one, it, this will make sense. But Hatchet basically is a story of a 13-year-old boy who is taking a private plane to Canada, like a, a single engine, like a Cessna, not like an actual jet, uh, up to Canada to see his dad because his parents are separated, and I think they eventually get divorced later on. Um, in the plane crashes, the pilot has a, they have a heart attack, and they just crash. So... Uh, long story short, it's him surviving in the wilderness. Uh, spoiler alert, he does obviously get saved at the end of Hatchet. But there are cool bits because there are multiple sequels with different stories. So there's the Hatchet, then there's the River. Is After he gets saved, he's approached to go back and do it again uh, with someone who's going to be documenting and seeing how he survives, what he you know what he's looking for. And this is... And then um, there's Brian's winner, which is at the end of Hatchet, he isn't saved. Um, so then he has to proceed in surviving during winter. Great. I can't go into any detail about any other book besides The River, though, besides that, because I haven't read them since middle school, uh, high school. So um, I don't know. I, li I like reading them. I like reading them a lot. I'm surprised how much I like reading a book that's 125 pages, I guess because it doesn't take it doesn't require a huge amount of attention, which is maybe why I like it so much. Um, but I, I, it's awesome. It's like, I saw it and I was like, Oh my God, I remember reading the river when I was in middle school. I was like, Oh, I'll read it again. It was like 25 cents or whatever, what it was worth a restore. And I was like, oh, I'll do it. And I, it kind of got me this little kick to start reading it. I don't really read much. Um, which now that's changing rapidly and it's fantastic. I, what I've done two books in three weeks, it's more books that I've read since I graduated high school, um, which is very bad. Don't remind me how bad that is. I, I'm fully aware of how sad that is. But I don't know. It jump-started this little love for books, and then it led to me reading the other book that I did a review for, the If I Die in a Combat Zone. So I don't know. It, it gets me kind of pent up and excited how much I really enjoyed reading. And I was like, man, this is awesome. I haven't read in so long and I haven't really enjoyed reading um, in a long time. So, um, why I like the book, it's short, it's to the point. God, man, I'm going into like descriptive detail of stupid stuff. I don't need to. Um, it's short to the point. There's a lot of detail and it is a rewarding book when you finish it. You get to the end and it's like, oh cool that was it feels like a chapter of a much larger story than it is um i'm trying to think of how many books there are there's the hatchet then there's obviously the river uh brian's winter brian's return and brian's hunt they're all individual little stories of this young you know kid's life and it's cool because they talk you know i'm trying to think which one it was it wasn't it obviously wasn't the river um I think, what, I think it was Brian's return talks about his uh, Brian or Brian yeah the river talks a little bit about his adjustment period getting back and then Brian's return is the inability to adjust to normal life which I really liked uh, because when he's 13 when he gets stuck out there and he's only stuck out there for a couple months I couldn't tell you how many it's been that long but 
it's impossible for him to readjust. And the river talked about it initially, and that was kind of the opening of the book was it's a year, year and a half or something later, and he's still learning to adjust, which was kind of cool. Uh, but then they went straight into him being out of the law. But it's, what, 125 pages. It's a short read. You can read in a couple hours if you wanted to, if you're a fast reader, if you're slow. I don't, you know, who cares about your pace? Um, took me a day or two to read, and I just was stoked how much I liked it. So, um, if you find it, if you like survival stuff, um, if you if you read Gary Paulson, you haven't read The River, if you read the ha- if you read Hatchet or The Hatchet or whatever it is, um, yeah, definitely pick it up. It's a fun book. I like it. I liked it a lot. Um, thanks, guys.